So this is our third hosting of Hack at CWIT. We expect close to about 200 students. So good luck. Have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself, learn something new, and learn how to create a great solutions, great technologies. So I don't want to be between you and your food and your hackathons and hacks that you want to start to couple of guidance to you from an ex speaking from an experience point of view um, when you were given a choice between comfort and pain choose pain and you have chosen pain because you're gonna be here with us for the next what day and a half right sleep deprivations and you know the lack of food well I think food will be taken care of for you guys but I do commend you for that for choosing pain for thank you for joining us so with that in mind good luck and keep hacking a hackathon is a 48-hour, sometimes 72-hour event where students are here sometimes nonstop, and they sleep here. They are creating something from scratch. So I'm working on an AI. We are creating a robot to navigate through the maze. We're working on a virtual reality game. We're making a Twitter bot that predicts the volatility of stocks in the future. Hackathons uh, give students the opportunity to really hone their skills in a practical sense. Um, unlike a classroom environment where you're being graded on what you're doing, hackathons are relatively risk-free. Some people here are gonna be building crazy robotics. Some people are building their first website ever. And you know, it's about what you get out of it. With our sponsors being here, some of them are here the whole weekend. They're looking to meet people and they're looking to find students that can possibly work for them. They're gonna take notice and they're gonna look at their resumes and kind of say, we want you for next year. Yeah, I can tell you one part, it is very exhausting, but my teammates are my good group of friends right now and being with them and working with them is not only we get stuff done, but like we have fun along the way. And that type of environment where we all build off of each other is kind of what keeps you up during this time to work on that one project. And when you see it completed, it's like, whoo, I finally did it. There's plenty of people around who are willing to help you, willing to be your friend, willing to be your teammate, um, and they'll be able to share their skills with you. I'm working with a robotics student uh, and a software student to make my project. Uh, I personally couldn't program it, do we know, from scratch, um, but that's where they come in. Uh, and just this combination of, hey, I have an idea, hey, I know how to do this idea, it works out into a great project in the end. I think every good person you see at a hackathon has failed eight out of nine times and probably had a good project on that ninth time. We all make mistakes and we all make the blunders because we can't make perfect. It's impossible. And from it, we learn what to do next time to make it even better.